Hey guys, have you ever been dating someone for a couple of weeks or a couple of months or even a couple of years and things are going great? The sex is really good, you guys keep talking about how much you care about each other and then suddenly you start feeling like a person is phasing you out? Sure, we've all been dumped by the phase out. How can you tell it's coming? What can you do to stop it? Why does it keep happening? I'm going to be going over everything from the man's point of view, but obviously men are very guilty of this too. There are only two reasons you get phased out. And I'm sorry to say this, guys. Number one, you are a creep. You're a really boring guy. And maybe it just took this long for your girlfriend to figure it out. Or two, you've actually done nothing wrong, but the girl is starting to care about you way too much and is starting to freak her out because it threatens the safe world that she's created for herself and she just can't handle it. Emotions are a very scary thing. And in fact, for some women, it's actually easier for them to have sex with you because sex is easy, feelings are hard. Now here are the three signs that you are being phased out. Number one, a sudden change in the frequency of contact. Now guys, we all know that girls are always looking at their phones. Always, even at work. And you know what? If your girlfriend usually responds to you right away within the hour or a couple of hours, and all of a sudden it feels like it's really hard to get her to get back to you, sure, she might be stuck in a movie for two hours, but if she hasn't replied for an entire day, it's not a good sign. Two, if pet names or sweet talk suddenly disappears from phone calls and text conversations, she's phasing you out. You know how at the end of every text, your girl loves to put baby, sweetie, XOXO? And if that suddenly disappears and you're not even getting a smiley face and texts from her become very sterile and cold? Number three, and the most obvious sign that you're being phased out, you haven't seen her in a while. She keeps canceling dates and when she cancels dates, she doesn't make a counter offer. Which means, when she cancels a date, she doesn't say, oh, I'm sorry, I can't make it tonight, but what about this night? If she just texts you, hey, can't make it, have a great week, you're being phased out. If you only see one of these signs, don't jump the gun. Maybe you're not being phased out. But if you see all three, you're being phased out. Bottom line, go with your gut. If you feel like something's off, it probably is. If you see all three of these signs, what a woman is trying to do is let enough time pass so that hopefully you give up and stop calling her. This way, she can always say, hey, you stopped calling me, or hey, what happened? We lost touch. Bitch, we didn't lose touch. You phased me out. Want some more clues? Here are the guaranteed excuses a woman will use for not getting back to you. Number one, I was busy. You know what? We're all busy, but it only takes 30 seconds to text someone back. If you've got time to be on Facebook or Twitter, you've got time to respond to someone. They found the time to text you in the beginning of the relationship when they liked you. And when someone's really busy and they're not trying to phase you out, they usually apologize profusely for not getting back to you and they actually offer a way to make it up to you. But if someone gets very defensive, oh my God, I said I was busy, what's the big deal? That means they're trying to phase you out. Number two, my phone died. Yeah, you know when your phone dies, you know what happens? When your phone is fixed, guess what? All those texts and voicemails are waiting for you. When someone's phone dies, what is the first thing they do when they get the phone back? They text everyone they know saying, oh my God, guys, I didn't have a phone for a week. Did I miss any messages? Or they post on Facebook, hey guys, I don't have a phone. What's going on? But again, if the girl gets defensive, oh my God, my phone died. What's the big deal? It means she's getting annoyed because she's trying to get rid of you. And the number three guaranteed excuse a woman will use for why she didn't get back to you right away, she will give you a very vague, nonspecific emergency. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I had to help my friend this weekend. Or, oh, I'm sorry, I had a family event this weekend. But it's always something very vague. What's really cute is that every girl thinks that she's unique and is unaware that phasing someone out is a predictable step-by-step -step process. It's so predictable, it's actually adorable. Why do people phase people out? Well, most people do the phase out because they're cowards. Because breaking up with someone face-to-face -face is scary. In fact, it's scarier to admit why you're breaking up. But ladies, if any part of me has been inside any part of you, pick up the phone.
most women will disappear right before they know they're going to have sex with you or right after they have sex with you or right after you both have admitted that you care about each other because that's the tipping point for their feelings. If any women out there think I'm being unfair, think about this. If a man did this to a woman, he would be crucified. But women do it all the time and they just say, I don't owe you anything. What can you do to stop from being phased out? Nothing. 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 If you actually get the girl on the phone, she will never admit that she was phasing you out. In fact, she will get defensive and angry at you for calling her out on her behavior. The classic responses are, you're overreacting or you're controlling. And if it's the rare occasion where a girl actually admits, yes, I was trying to phase you out, you still can't stop her from phasing you out. Once the seed has been planted, that's it. Once a girl wants to end things with you, it's pretty much over. Even if you convince her to stay with you, it'll only be temporary. And every time you see her, you're going to have to convince her to keep seeing you. Why bother? It's a waste of energy. So, if you do nothing, she phases you out, you never see her again, and you have no closure. Or, if you say anything, you're labeled an overreacting, controlling creep. You're screwed either way. So, what can you do if someone's trying to phase you out? Only one thing. Send them this video. Email them this link so that they know that you know what they were doing. After you send that link, do what I do. Start dating someone new. Seriously, truly forgetting about the girl who phased you out and moving on with your life is the best revenge. It's actually the best thing for both of you because then you both move on and eventually both of you will find someone who wants to be with you. And isn't that what you really want for both of you to be happy? And I know there are guys out there thinking, hey, wait a minute. How do I know that I wasn't being a creep? Are there girls out there right now thinking, hey, Elliot, how do you know those girls didn't phase you up because you were being a creep? Here's the one and only way to know. If I actually get the girl on the phone or if I leave a message, I say something like this. Hey, looks like you don't feel like seeing me anymore. That's totally cool. No hard feelings. When I hang up the phone, I'll be deleting your number so you don't have to worry about me drunk dialing you. If you ever want to hang out again, you'll have to contact me. No girl ever calls a guy that she thought was a creeper. 50% of the women who have phased me out have always called me back within three to six months which is usually the amount of time it takes for their next relationship to end. And finally, I know there's about 10 different girls who probably think this video is about them. Ladies, it's about all you skanks. Subscribe already. And this way you can watch me do comedy, destroy hecklers, give dating advice, and don't forget to join the Chang Nation on all social media. What are you waiting for?